So the game of Monopoly is an iconic game that's almost a hundred years old. There's a lot of different versions of it that have popped up into the marketplace and they happen to come up with one that they call Canada Opoly. I gotta tell you, for some reason, I think that our existing government had some input on this game. Not only is it very childlike, in fact, the game of Monopoly is great for ages anywhere from, let's say, six to adults. This one, I gotta tell you, it's probably the worst version ever made, and that's why I think the government had input in it. Instead of community chest, they turn around and they call it Z. So you turn around and you pick up one of these cards and it says, you ate too many pea mail sandwiches, pay $15 for stomach medicine. That says a lot about what our government would be doing. First of all, they feed you bad, then they wanna pump you through medicine, and of course, everybody thinks it's gonna be a pea mail sandwich. Now the rest of the board, again, doesn't change much about our impression of who actually designed this. The game of Monopoly is meant to be, you know, you've got to be able to think ahead. You start turning around wanting to be competitive. People win, people lose. But in the end, this one, we pay taxes $75. Well, that's probably on your dinner out. On top of that, everything has got some kind of reference to hockey. So the only thing that they think Canadians do is play hockey. You land on a bison. Well, I don't know how many times you land on a bison, or for that matter, a polar bear. Instead of your typical boardwalk park place, let's think about what they consider to be the quintessential real estate. It's the CN Tower and Chateau Frontenac. And you think you're gonna own both of those? And if you do, are you gonna build on them? This whole game, the whole premise of Monopoly is to teach people how to buy real estate, charge rent, build on it. It's a really good game if you wanna be a real estate investor. I'm gonna tell you that this game of Canadaopoly is probably the worst version ever made in the game and the franchise of Monopoly. I almost don't want to even use the name Monopoly when I talk about it. The only thing that actually has any kind of true value is the Canadian dollar is worth so little that this piece of paper saying it's $50 is probably the same value as the Canadian $50 today. And that's probably the only thing that they got right. It's just a piece of paper and that's what our currency is worth. But other than that, this is a sad excuse for a game of Monopoly. Don't buy it, don't waste your time. Chances are, you're not going to be very happy.